All right, thank you, Tony. New tonight, we're learning more about the closure of a manufacturing plant in Fall River. On Friday, employees in the manufacturing end of the Phillips lighting plant were given notice that production will end at the facility later this year. 160 workers will be affected once production is transferred to Mexico. Now, one of the city's former mayors is calling on the president for assistance. Iowa News News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live in studio to explain. Caroline? Mike and Shannon, it was just a few months ago that Fall River was in the national spotlight as Congressman Joe Kennedy delivered his Democratic response to President Trump's State of the Union from Diamond Regional. Now another message is being sent to the president from the same city after it was dealt some disappointing news. This announcement has hurt the blue collar city of Fall River, Massachusetts. He's penned a letter to President Trump. You vowed to stop American jobs from leaving our border and moving to Mexico. Former Mayor of Fall River William Flanagan calling on the president to intervene. After receiving news, the Phillips lighting plant in the city will be shutting down, taking with it 160 jobs. They just said, we're closing this plant. And um, everybody was in shock. Joseph Santos works at the Fall River plant. He's also the president of IBEW 1499, the union that represents about 100 workers at Phillips. The company is now moving those jobs to Monterey, Mexico. We are upset. And that's exactly why Flanagan says he took action, calling on the president to follow through with promises he made in the 2016 election. He stated that America would be great again. Cities and towns like Fall River were going to be winning again and that there would be consequences for companies like Phillips who decided to close their operations in America and move to countries like Mexico. The company says it's working to assist the employees affected as they could be without jobs within a year's time. Carl Hetzler, who heads the city's Industrial Park Association, says once those jobs are gone, the city will likely never see them again. They may not come back and, and it's getting hotter and hotter to find good opportunities for, for people. Flanagan says he sent the letter to the White House via mail, email, and Twitter, and he's only received an automated response to his email so far. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.